All right, guys, out here with Eric and Jeremy. You ready, man? Ready. We gotta try it. Right, let's go. Day two redemption. <laughs> oh, snap. Top water, baby. That's a good fish right there, buddy. It's red, too. Woohoo! He gonna spoon me? <laughs> huh? Yeah. That's him. It's only like a foot and a half deep right here. I knew we needed that little bit skinnier stuff. That's a good fish. It might be a keeper. Ah, he's close. He's close to a keeper. We started out with light winds, perfect for walking the dog. That was going to change later on. <sighs> Definitely going to need to measure him. He foul hooked himself. I got one. All right, there we go. Eric here was from the Dallas area, had a lot of bass experience, but uh, he was putting his bass techniques to the test, and he was landing some redfish. Oh, yes. I went right through a school of mullet, and I just got crushed, dude. Woo! That was awesome. I don't know. He felt, I don't think he's as big as I thought he was. Woo! Man, but he crushed it. Man, I thought he was way bigger than this. What is it? It's a red. Man, he crushed it. Holy smokes. I thought he was a lot bigger than this, dude. He ain't. I thought it was a bull. I saw a mullet flying when I went through the mullet. And then all of a sudden, boom. That's about the only time I switch to a big one is when it gets rough. So when it's slick calm, I tend to use junior size plugs. They make plenty of commotion. But when it's windy and rough, I go to the full size. I need the action, I need to move the water, and I need the racket. Nasty day, always produces, baby. So why do we catch big fish or large numbers of fish on nasty days? Part of it could be because it's prefrontal. Another reason is they have a hard time seeing and hearing you with all that chop and wind. Got my blood boiling, boy. Crush that sexy dog, hard knock. This thing is loud, dude. On a nasty day, this thing is perfect. It's like, this is a KBD. Sexy dog. So here's another bass lure from Freshwater that we're bringing in to salt and having great success with. Strike King came out with the sexy dog a while back, but now they've got the sexy dog hard knock. This thing makes a ton of racket. I take the middle hook out to prevent me from getting hooked with thrashing trout. And I throw this thing when it is nasty and it produces. And I think that's a trout. It's a trout. Once again, brought it through. Good trout. Good trout. Here's that hard knock in all her glory. It's a very, very brassy topwater plug if you've never thrown one. And I think that really helps with all this wind and junk going on. All right, man. The wind's gotten brutal. We gotta get out of here. Woo! All right, I'm going to get Eric off here and then go get uh, Eric free. Go get Jeremy. You might be able to pull something out of these deep cuts.
rescue man number two. So we really pushed it to the limit, but I knew I had the 106 with me. I knew it would be a lifesaver. I was able to tow each guy back in when the struggle got real. That Old Town 106 really helps me with guiding folks. It's been a big asset. Well, despite the wind, despite the impending rain, despite the nasty weather, we still put this together and had a great trip. I want to thank Eric and Jeremy for coming down. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch y'all next time. What?